Fluffy Hernandez versus the Power Bar, Mark Andre Barriolt. Now, AJ, man, even though there's a pretty stark difference in terms of like the topology rankings right here, I don't think these two are very far apart in terms of uh, just like skill level, man. I think that Hernandez got the big boost over beating Vieira, but Mark Andre Barriolt is underrated, and he always has been, and I think he always will continue to be, which is why this is a scary pick for me. Because as you said it, we I mean, listen, this is the sum up from the TLDR coin flip. It's just, it's as simple as that. It's just a coin flip. And who if you feel are you feeling lucky? Huh? Punk, you feeling lucky? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, that's how I feel right now. Fluffy Hernandez got some good striking, but so does Mark Andre Barriot. Fluffy Hernandez has some excellent grappling, but so does Mark Andre Barriot. Um, the question here is cardio. That's my thing. Hernandez has a fantastic gas tank, but so does Mark Andre Barriot. So, <laughs> AJ, man, what is the big X factor? What is the big thing here that separates these two fighters? Because they're very similar in a lot of different ways. A lot of different ways, man. For me, it's the leg kicks. I, I okay. mean, well, and that's actually for Anthony Hernandez. That's I feel like he has the better <laughs> leg kicks, which is a crazy thing. But if you're rocking with me on my bets for Mark Andre Burial, I think he's a grinder. I think yeah. he's a dog. He's and to say he's more of a dog than Anthony Hernandez is a little bit of a stretch as well. Because they're both. This was, we said it. We said it once, folks. We're going to say it again. This is a coin toss. Both these fighters are very, very similar. I think it's kind of comes down to the thing where Anthony Hernandez had such of a big pop with beating, submitting mm-hmm. uh, Rodolfo Vieira, where Mark Andre Barriol has had to grind his way through the muck and through the mire, and I think that's going to come out in this fight where he's just going to be a grinder the entire time. Both of these dudes are very, very dangerous. Both of these dudes are going to grind very, very hard for the fight, but I think Barriol is going to get the better of the exchanges. We'll see. Like I said, yeah. coin toss. What do you think? I can see it happening, man. That's the tough part. I'm like playing out the the, the visualizations in my head. I'm like, God damn. Like I can see. I can see him just grinding him up against the cage and just controlling. But the scary part about Anthony Hernandez is anytime you get close to him, he's going for some submission. Some submission. Mm-hmm. So you're never, you can't rest on your laurels if you're the power bar, right? Now, yeah, I can't understate that win against Josh Fremden's his last fight was so gigantic. It was, it was, it was enormous, man. That was a big control time win. Like, I think he racked up almost 10 minutes of control time in that fight. It was fantastic, right? The win against Rodolfo Vieira exhausted him. That was just smart fighting, right? Here's the thing you got to take away. He submitted Jung Young Park. And, and if you don't think that's impressive, you don't know fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like the Iron Turtle is absolutely no joke. And to submit him, that's dangerous. Let's not forget he won a regional championship uh, title against Brendan Allen. And he was able to uh, decision Brendan Allen too. So that's also huge. Now, two losses. Kevin Holland, right? And Kevin Holland is a great fighter. So, you know, you can't hang your hat on that when he got knocked out. Marcus Perez. He got submitted by Marcus Perez. And before Marcus Perez kind of fell off, that's a bad man right there. Now, with all that being said, man, the power bar, when we're talking about this, Beverly Hills Ninja, you submit the man. Okay, he's a knockout artist, but that's still a huge win, right? You lose against Chitty, you get knocked out against Chitty Bang Bang, it happens, right? Decision Dolce Lungi Ambula. Now that's big right there. That is monstrous. Uh, Abu Azatar, right? Remember that one, AJ? That was a big one. You know what I'm saying? Come on, what's in the bag? I don't know what's in the bag, bro. Listen, with, with all of this being said, this is a coin toss on many different affairs. I do think Anthony Hernandez, even though he, I feel like he, even though he's the favorite here, I think a lot of people are still going to be sitting here thinking, ah, I think, I think Power Bar can get the job done. I think he can, he can get the win. You know what I'm saying? If you had to, if, I mean, I don't even want to use this metaphor, man. You're at the edge of a cliff. And someone's going to push you off if you lose your bet. And your bet is on Mark andre Barrio. What exactly does he have to do to give you confidence that he's going to win? Ooh. Get it to the ground. Ground and pound. Avoid the submission. Very Ooh. hard. There, that's, yeah. I'm not risking my life. I'm, 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 I'm like I said, this is a stay away. Yeah. Stay away from the edge of the cliff. Stay away from the money. Because yeah. uh, this that's a hard one. But if I had to see it, like I said, grind it up against the fence. We're seeing some elbows. We're seeing some body shots taken to the ground. Beat him up. Let the ref come in and save a man. <sighs> Hard though. What about you? What do you think? So same scenario for me. If Anthony Hernandez is the guy, I'm on the edge of the cliff, and I'm like, how does what does he have to do for me to ensure the victory gets done or give me the confidence and still confidence in me? You have to go submission hunting at every opportunity you see. He shoots, you jump guillotine. He, you know what I mean? There's a scramble, you scramble, and you get the back. And you grab his back and you rear naked choke him. If an arm is available, it, you got to take it. I think that's where it comes down to. Because in the striking, I think they're going to be tit for tat in the striking. And just straight up grappling, it's just going to be a lot of scrambles. Safe to say, stay away from this one, folks, if you can. But 
given the spirit of competition, because we love doing this and because we're putting our records on the line each and every single week, we have to make a pick. And with that being said, folks, I'm going to do something crazy here, something that I shouldn't do, and I'm going to do it anyways. Give me the submission, baby. Let's go, Fluffy Hernandez. Give me the submission because when you're dealing with the stay away, when you're dealing with a they're so evenly matched, anything can happen. And oftentimes when we think, oh, there's this one certain path, and the certain path in this one is we don't know what's going to happen, the most, the thing you'd least expect to happen is going to happen. And do I think that on a normal day he submits Marc-Andre Burial? No, but I think in this matchup, shit, man, anything's going down. Give me the submission and give me a... Uh, Give me that early second round. So I don't even know what the over and under is. Let me take a look. Two and a half rounds, minus 115 a pop. So they don't know, man. Odds makers don't know. Yeah, give me early second round. I'm taking the under. <laughs> what, are you, what are you thinking, brother? Power bar. How's he get it done? It's a coin toss for even the, the odds makers, yeah. Derek. They don't yeah. even know if they want over and under. This <laughs> one is a hell of a stay away. But for the competition, man, I've been battling this entire time we've been talking. I'm still battling it right now, whether I want to go TKO or whether I want to go decision. Either way, they're both a plus 300 for my boy Power Bar. I'm going TKO, and I'm going round three. TKO, round three. My man is taking the over. All right, folks, listen. If